Hello guys, it is me, Bailey Celine, also known as Lawful Moon on TikTok. Um, I am, was going to film a vlog, like a full vlog of my day, but I ended up just editing videos all day and kind of like talk chatting with friends. I edited two videos, one of them I posted, it was my latest review on the Violet Fan Happy Tartan series. Um, and I just finished editing like a get ready with me. It, that was supposed to be a get ready with me in a vlog, but then I didn't want the video to be too long so I cut it a bit short. I'm actually over here exporting the video. As you can see. Hope it should be up by the time this video is done. But um, I was gonna do a wardrobe clean out, but I do really need to get to sleep soon because I have to wake up at 6 o'clock because at night I had to be at driving school by 9 but I did kind of want to start on my wardrobe just a little tiny little bit um probably just gonna pick up my outfit for tomorrow and I will walk you guys through my day tomorrow um and since I get back at 3 I'll have plenty of time to do a wardrobe clean out then so I'm gonna show you my wardrobe but here's my wardrobe um at the bottom I have all my shoes I have lots of feel the disruptors because they're my favorite kind of shoes. And I have lots and lots of dresses and skirts and blouses and cardigans and stuff. My wardrobe has gotten really co uncohesive over the years because I switched styles. I used to wear a Moy Girl, um, but over the years I started wearing more like, um, I don't even know what to describe it. I just started wearing more colorful fashion, kind of my own style, heavily inspired off of Moy Girl, like the way you do the layering, but the colors are more like vibrant. And I also got more into Lita. I've always liked Lita. I f discovered the fashion in 2011 through an old reseller website called Cutie Land. If you remember Cutie Land, until they became a scam. But uh, they used to be a cool website, though the prices were really high compared to just buying straight from Tab Out. But um, I've been getting more into Lita since I can finally find dresses in my style and my size. So uh, I just want to like sort through this, like figure out what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to get rid of. I know I'm gonna keep all my little pieces that I have, and I know which I'm gonna. I know what I'm gonna keep, but the things that I don't want, I don't know what to get, do with. Um, so tonight, I think all we're gonna do is pick out my outfit for tomorrow. I want to wear happy tartan. Violet fan must be getting annoyed with me because I tagged them in all my posts lately because I'm wearing happy tartan every day since I got it. <laughs> I'm sure they're fine with it. I'm promoting the brand. I should be a brand ambassador, but I think I want to wear, I'm very tempted to wear the outfit I'm wearing now, but it's driving school, I'm not trying to be too extra. I'm going to, so I think I'm going to wear um, Happy Tartan in Ryoko Red, the one piece, and I'm going to layer some stuff over it, and I'll kind of come back and show you the outfit I come up with. Okay, so I am back. Um, this is the outfit I have for tomorrow. I have my quilted red. Um, backpack that I think this is one of my sisters when they were younger, like in the 90s. Have I met a Mofos, um, Rachel Lace Inkle Socks? It's gonna be hot tomorrow. I'm gonna wear the Violet Fan One Piece with the belt. This is a um, Heirloom Collectibles cardigan. Um, and it has like the nice like red and uh, greens and stuff in it. For accessories, I'm going to wear the two red Tomei Nostalgia brooches. The little bento box one and the little crown box one. I also have the earrings. Let's see if the zoom works. Ooh, zoom does work. I'm gonna wear the um for earrings I can't decide if I want to wear these yellow marble hoops or these red pearls. I'm gonna do um an Instagram story uh, and have y'all vote for that. <laughs> and for bracelets I'm gonna be wearing these like uh red and clear bracelets just keeping it simple. And for shoes, I'm going to wear my red velas. So that's my outfit for tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I just woke up. Uh, I'm going to go and do my skincare and then get dressed. Um, and I will show you my outfit and everything once I'm done doing that. And uh, I also will probably do my makeup off camera because this isn't a tutorial. This is just a vlog. So put the outfit on that I showed you guys last night and I will be back.
Okay, so I am back from, let me scoot back a little bit. I am back from driving, I got back a couple of hours ago. It was really long! I got there at a uh, little before 9 and I stayed there until, it was like 3, 3.30, I think it was closer. No, I think it was probably 3.15, 3, 3, 3.20 when I got out. It was really annoying because I passed the test, but I couldn't schedule my driving because like the dates that I'm free this week um, aren't available. And also they wouldn't tell me like what dates they had for the, the week following because like, and she didn't understand like, I can't, I don't have free availability, I have a job. Like, I need you to give me the, the time, like, a week in advance so I can, like, take off of work. Like, I told her, she was like, what days do you want to schedule? And I was like, this week I'm only free, um, tomorrow, which is Sunday. I'm off Tuesday, and I'm off early Sunday. Like, I can come, like, anywhere bef before 1. Um, preferably it'd be, like, a 10 to 1 or something like that. And she's like, well, I can't do that. We're not free any of the days. She's so, like okay, what days are you free, like, the next week, and she's like, I don't know, she's like, so when are you going to schedule your driving, well, well like, I don't know, because I need to know in advance, because, like, I have to take off for work, like, this is supposed to be an adult driving class, like, you should be understanding and accommodating the fact that people have, like, jobs, like, and I don't have the same availability every week, I work a service industry job, like, most people in the area, but she's been kind of annoying, but, um, I showed you my outfit already in the little pictures. I also changed my hair. I did these little twist buns because I thought it would be cute. I want to try to get one of those little bun things that people have that put on their hair to make the buns look fuller because if I had two big buns, it would be so cute. But a package of mine came. I ordered from an artist I really like. Um, uh, she was having a really good Black Friday sale. I follow her on TikTok and she had like some Digimon stuff and, and some, I think some Soul Eater stuff I really liked, so I finally ordered from her and on the back of the package, she had this cute little doodle, which is so cute. Um, she's like, you got mail, which is so cute. Um, and then here is the package. I thought I'd open it for you guys in my little vlog. Filming vlog is so fun. I was a little nervous about filming in public, but luckily in the bathroom there was nobody in there, in the one that I went in. Uh, on the side of that building, it was like completely empty. But she has this really cute, like, washi tape on it. It's so cute. I got a lot of stuff. Okay. I just couldn't pass it up because she's closing her shop. I don't know their pronouns, so I'll just use They're closing their shop on, um... After they... I think they already closed it. They closed it, um... They either already closed it or they're closing it on Monday. So I wanted to buy some stuff before it closed up. And uh, I love the washi tape. This is like a nice package. First it says, Thank you so much, Bailey. I hope this order makes you smile. Oh, look at that. So cute. Okay, and look, I love this paper. I'm going to keep this. This color, it matches my phone. <laughs> so cute. <gasps> okay, so there's another little postcard. It says, hello, we as cream secretaries, um, thank you for supporting their business. We also ensure everything was packaged with love and care and a sanitized space. We hope you enjoy decorating our space and we love to see the photos when everything arrives. Sincerely, Birdie, uh, Kiko, Roxy, and Lena. This is from Deco Loves Cream. And it says, I promise no pet labor was used in packaging these products. And it has a little um, QR code for you to get their socials. It's so cute! I love when um, artists give little things like this. It's so cute. <sighs> okay, so all oh, these stickers are like laminated. Um, this one is a Waddle Dee like cream soda one. So cute! Then I got the... Oh, that was so nice of them. I did not order this. They're so nice. I only ordered the devil one, the devil sticker. Um, but they also sent me the angel one, because I was like, which ones, I don't want to spend too much money, because like, I'm in between jobs, but I really want to order something, and I just bought Happy Tartan, so I was like, I'll just get one, um, I'll get my hair one, at least the devil got you one, but she sent me, they sent me the angel one, thank you so much, if you're watching this, you're so nice, and ugh, I've been into Chainsaw Man, if you read my stories, like, a, a, like a week or so ago, you would know that I was crying about Teen Jump Man. I finally, I caught up with part one of the manga and it was so sad. So I just had to get this. What is his name? Pochita? Pochita? That's a Tagachi! It's so cute! 
cute. And these are like, I like the size of these. I might put one on my vanity and I'm gonna like put them in the gaps on my wall. And they have so much Digimon stuff. Like, and I love Digimon. I am a, I'm, I'm a sucker for Digimon, specifically Adventure 1 and some of Adventure 2. I don't really like Tamers that much. I feel like that's a hot take. A lot of people love Tamers. But, uh, here is this. Ah, oh, it's so cute! I like that it has, like, that nostalgic kids rolling kind of look, but, like, I love the way, the, like, I, I forget the Digimon names. I'm a fake fan. I love the way this one looks. Like, ugh. I love their style. It's so cool. And then I have Mimi and Sora. I feel like Malifu will make a lot of merch with them. But it's so cute. And when you see me looking, I'm looking in the mirror to make sure that the camera is in focus. And this one is, Hey Kari, you're my best friend. And it's so cute. I love in the background, you kind of see like the sketch versions. Like, almost like the process of making the photo. And, oh, you see Patamon. Oh, that's not Patamon. This is Gadamon. You see Gatomon and Kari. So cute. And then I got a Hi Hi Puffy and Yumi one. I used to love this show as a kid. I feel like it really fits my aesthetic. It's so cute. I absolutely love the art style and hopefully I um I'm definitely gonna order from them again. Hopefully they come out with some really cool stuff next year. I'm sure they will. But that's my little haul.